The fly that we're going to be tying is called uh, the Musky Mash. I'm using the Siwash Gamakatsu 5 odd hook, 210 denier black thread. The first piece of material that you're going to attach is a purple holographic flashaboo. And I generally extend it about 6 inches out the back. Next thing that you're going to do is you're going to get some uh, purple or purple grizzly schloppen. And you're going to attach one feather on each side, going approximately two inches further than the flashaboo. Then I cut some uh, bucktail. The longer the fibers, the better. And I'm going to reverse tie this in. I want to spin my bobbin before I do it. That way it gets a good bite. Make a loose wrap, and then another wrap, and then just pull and twist it around. And make sure and flare it. You're just going to take all that hair and push it back. and build a good thread base in front of it. Make sure and push it back as far as you can. Once you get it put pointing back pretty good, you want to take another clump of hair and you're going to reverse tie that in also. follow the same process and push it back. For the third clump of hair you're going to use black bucktail. It's the same process, you're just going to reverse tie it in. Then for the fourth and final piece, you're just going to use another purple clump of bucktail. You only want to do four clumps. you got to make room for your head. Then you're going to add two more grizzly schloppen feathers in purple and black on each side. And you want to make sure that you measure them out to be just as long as the other two that you attached in the back.
Then you're going to take about a 5 inch piece of uh, angel hair. I'm using silver on this one. About a quarter inch clump and you're going to trail it right over the middle of the fly. In your next step you're going to use some 7 16 inch black aluminum self-centering dumbbell eyes. And you're going to figure eight those on the bottom of the hook. And you also want to figure eight over the top of the hook. Take some super glue put it on both sides down in the middle make sure it stays secure then uh, you use 3 8 3D eyes or the eyes of your choice just make sure they're 3 8 in diameter put your eyes in using zappy gap super glue whatever you need Then you're going to use flex hackle, an inch and a quarter from Cascade Crest. Tie that in. And you're just going to palmer that forward, trying to keep everything going backwards. And you want to do the, the figure eight over the top and also make sure that you come around the bottom and do the figure eight. It's not very important to keep your head clean because the, the hook eye is so big around that your, your uh, line is going to get through there anyway, but you want to do the best that you can. And once you got it wrapped off, you just whip finish it. Add a little super glue to it. And that's the musky mash.